Hey, how you doing? The Timinator to the Tool Man with another tool review. Uh, I'm going to do a, today I was going to do a quick uh, review on the Handy Paint Pro Pal, Pale and uh, uh, kind of give you a, a rundown on it and how it works uh, real quick. Um, if you're your first on my channel, if you go down there and hit subscribe and uh, uh, hit the little bell icon and you'll get notified if I do more videos. And right after this. quick uh, review on this handy paint pail um i've had uh actually had this one quite a while let's go <laughs> got uh fresh paint on it um uh, i've had actually this small one quite a while and uh uh i don't remember how long it's been but it came out with this new one and uh this thing is great i typically a lot of times if i'm doing cut-ins and stuff like that I do a lot of painting, and if I'm doing uh, cut-ins, I most of the time now I use this one, uh, just because it kind of takes the place of the old one. This one you can't get a uh, show you can't get a four inch rule. You can, but it's real real difficult to actually have uh, it stay out of the paint and all that. So uh, you got a lot more room. You can actually hang on this new one. You can hang your uh, uh, paintbrush and, and it's got a magnet just like this other one does uh, this one has the magnet right here um, same thing it comes with a liner just like the uh, this uh, other one does so which is pretty cool um, the liners on these are black uh, and uh, but uh, they like I said they both come with liners they both have the magnets it just that I tend to use the bigger one now just because one it holds more paint and um, you got more room for your tools. So let me see my hands I've got paint on them now. Uh, but anyway, um, it's got adjustable hand uh, hand strap so you can make it tighter, looser, however you want. Um, and uh, yeah, I really like these paint pails. They're I find typically I find the liners. Uh, I haven't not seen them at Lowe's uh, or Home Depot but uh, uh, you can find the smaller pails at Home, Home Depot or Lowe's with the liners uh, for these smaller ones. Now they make them in red. This is an older one. Uh, it tells you how long I've had it. So uh, yeah, I hope that helps uh, somebody make a decision on a paint pail. If you're gonna do any, any kind of painting, um, nice thing about it is you can cover it up with plastic. I, a lot of times I'll, if I'm switching paints, I'll take a liner out. Uh, set it on the counter, put my other paint in there, same with thing with this one. Um, and you just cover it up with plastic tape, it, tape plastic. These old ones used to have, they used to make these. Um, whoever makes this handy paint bell, I'm not getting paid to do this. So um, if the company ever sees this, um, start making these again. Uh, they're like little bonnets that go over the paint lid and uh, keeps your paint from uh, drying out. Typically, like I said, what I do now is just take a uh, uh, a plastic bag, a Walmart bag, or a bag from Shipley's or anything, and shove it on there, tape it around there, and, and you can leave your paint in there for a few days and, and uh, keep working. Or you can just let it, you know, dip your paint out of there, let it dry, and go with it again if you're going with the same paint. So, hope that makes somebody... Uh, uh, easier with a decision if they're on the fence about buying any kind of the painting equipment but again this works for me and i hope it works for you